What up guys, I'm Thales and we're back with another how to slice. In today's how to slice video, we're going to be checking out some awesome Halloween lights. So let's go to the video. This is the floating ghost. As you can see, this is a really nice model to print for Halloween. So in this video, let's check out the best print settings to print this beautiful model. So first off, let's analyze the model. As you can see, we got the ghost itself and his tail. So um, this slot connects to this chains, so it looks like he's floating. He's kind of um, a prisoner of these rocks and he's trying to float. So this is a really nice model because you can put some candle lights inside. So those lights, those, those candle lights inside the model and will look really nice. Let's go over here to the layer height. Over here in layer height, we're going to be printing this model at 0.16 millimeters to get an extra quality print. For vertical shells, we're going to leave it at 3. 3 is a really nice value because it's going to get a really rigid model. As for infill, we're going to be increasing to 10% of gyroid. This is quite nice. For skirt and brim, we're going to be adding brim, but Let's actually first, let's take a look. So I have sliced the model so we can take a look if we need brim or support. So let's go down all of the layers and you will see that it's got a really poor contact area on the ghost and there's kind of a little bit of a good um, contact area in the rocks and not too much of a contact area here. So we're going to need some brim. But let's analyze if this model really needs support or not. As you can see, there's not too many um, blue parts. So blue parts indicate where we're going to have bridges. So there's not too many bridges that we're going to have to be um, adding too many support. But uh, for brim, we're going to be adding brim. So let's go over here to print settings um, and we're going to add brim. But there's something else we can do. This model needs brim more than the others. So you can just right click over here, add settings, skirt and brim. And we're going to be adding brim type and brim width. So brim type, we're going to select outer brim only. And brim width, we're going to select a six millimeter brim. We could be adding a lot more if you wanted to, but this is quite nice. Something you can do is in the brim, add outer and inner brim. This will make sure that the interior has brim too. This is really nice. For the other parts, we do not need too much of a brim. So we can go over here to brim width and add just a four millimeter brim. So this is quite nice just to make sure that none of these models um, fail. As for support, as we can see, it does not need any support, but we're going to have to reduce a lot of the speed because as you can see, um, all of these chains are hard to print. So we're going to be decreasing the value of small polymers to 50 and the others values to around 80. So this way you're going to slow down the print and it's going to make sure that your printer, um, that your prints come out nicely. So I'm going to do that. So as you can see, I have changed all of the values and they look really nice. For Bamboo Lab printers, you do not have to reduce this value too much because um, you have a tendency that Bamboo Lab printers to have really stable prints so you do not have to worry but it's really recommended to slow down the print speed so we, you can print all of the chains really nicely what you can do is by selecting all of these rocks you can um, change the layers so over here in layers and perimeters you can be reducing just this models so as you can see you can be uh, reducing the layer height to print the rocks so you can get a better quality print on the chains so you can be going down to 0.14 while printing them what i would recommend is by increasing the perimeters 
to this models. So right clicking, add settings, and over here in layers and perimeters, actually you can just click right here in layers and perimeters. Let me, let me just say by this tone too. So we're gonna click, go to layers and perimeters, and over here, we're gonna add in perimeters, we're gonna increase to five. This way we're gonna get really rigid um, stones. So this is quite nice. I'm gonna be slicing just so we can see the difference between um, everything we did. So as you can see, I have slice and it's gonna take 10 hours and one minute to print. As you can see, we added custom brim. So we got a bigger brim on the ghost um, compared to this one. So it's got an inner brim on this one and just an outer brim on these. If we take a look, if we go down the layers, you will see the difference. So right here, we got five perimeters and this one, we got only three. So it's really um, critical that you increase the perimeters to make sure we get a really rigid chain and it will not break off. So this is quite nice. Adding a brim will make sure that you have a good, bad adhesion. And if we go over here to speed, you will see actually speed. You'll see that it reduces the print speed while printing small perimeters. So around 50 millimeters a second. This is quite nice because we really need to reduce a lot of the speed while printing the chains because they are really critical. So this is quite nice. So if you go up the value right here, you'll see that it reduces the speed. So this looks quite nice and it's ready to print. So the models are ready to print. Make sure you check out stlflix.com for more models like this one and I'll see you in another one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.